Hey everyone, yes, it's already September, and yes, it's time for our tinnitus updates and news. This month, I have to say, I'm covering juicy updates and news for you guys. If you are one of the millions that is affected by tinnitus or hearing loss, today's news could either bring hope or change your life. This month, we are covering Acousia Therapeutics Drug Development for Hearing Loss. Neural Network Insights and Deep Brain Stimulation for Tinnitus MIT's Regenerative Drug for Hearing Loss The Apple Hearing Study Magnetic Nanoparticles for Hearing Loss Acousia Therapeutics, a company making a huge strides in the fight against hearing loss caused by chemotherapy. Many cancer patients are treated with a drug called cisplatin. While this drug is effective against cancer, it's known to cause severe damage to the inner ear, a condition known as autotoxicity. Acousia is developing a drug called ACOU-085, which aims to prevent this damage and protect hearing during chemotherapy. Clinical trials showed that this drug could help preserve natural hearing in patients undergoing treatment. This is a major step forward because up until now, cancer patients had to pretty much choose between life-saving treatment and long-term hearing loss. This drug could allow them to receive chemotherapy without compromising their hearing health. It's a huge win for both cancer patients and the broader field of hearing health, as it paves the way for further advantages in protecting hearing from other causes of damage as well. Acousia is currently in phase 2 clinical trial of this drug, with trials being conducted primarily on young male patients undergoing chemotherapy for testicular cancer. These trials are being carried out across multiple sites in Germany and are aimed at measuring the drug's effectiveness in preventing hearing loss. Our next story focuses on a breakthrough in our understanding of how tinnitus works in our brain. Researchers at UCSF have identified a specific brain structure, the caudate nucleus, that plays a critical role in sensory perception. The malfunction of this area may be the cause of persistent tinnitus. Through advanced brain imaging, the researchers were able to pinpoint how tinnitus disrupt normal sensory processing. Using this knowledge, they experimented with a highly targeted procedure known as Deep Brain Stimulation, or DBS, in patients with severe treatment-resistant tinnitus. DBS involves implanting electrodes in specific brain areas to modulate abnormal activities. Though it's an invasive procedure, Early trials showed remarkable reduction in tinnitus symptoms for individuals who had exhausted all other treatment options. The really exciting part in all of this is that the research team is now exploring less invasive treatment that can target the same neural pathways, potentially offering relief to much larger group of tinnitus patients. With more research, we could be on the verge of transforming how we treat chronic tinnitus by addressing the root cause in the brain, rather than just managing the symptoms. Another exciting development is happening at MIT, where scientists are working on a regenerative drug that could potentially reverse hearing loss. This drug focuses on regrowing the sensory hair cells in the cochlea, those tiny structures responsible for detecting sound which are often damaged by age, noise exposure, or illness. Most common treatments for hearing loss, like hearing aids, simply amplify sounds but don't repair the underlying damage. MIT's regenerative drug, however, aims to restore these cells, offering a more permanent solution. MIT research uses small molecules to stimulate progenitor cells, which can transform into new hair cell, potentially restoring hearing. In early trials, some participants saw significant improvements in speech perception, with effects lasting up to two years after a single injection. The team continues refining the treatment and currently recruiting for 124-person clinical trial. 
They aim to make this therapy as convenient as LASIK surgery in the future. Imagine a future where hearing loss could actually be reversed instead of just managed. This could be a reality in the no-so-distant future. Now let's talk about one of the most extensive hearing studies to date, conducted by Apple in collaboration with University of Michigan. The Apple Hearing Study gathered data from over 160,000 participants, making it one of the largest scale studies ever conducted on tinnitus. The results were eye-opening. A staggering 77.6% of participants reported experiencing tinnitus at some point in their lives, with older individuals reporting a higher prevalence of daily tinnitus. The study also identified key triggers for tinnitus, including noise trauma and stress, both of which are becoming more common in our modern world. Why is this study so significant? It's not just about the numbers. The data collected by Apple is expected to play a crucial role in developing better tinnitus management strategies. By understanding the factors that contribute to tinnitus, we can help create more personalized treatment, allowing people to better manage and in some cases even prevent tinnitus symptoms. It's a great example of how tech companies and medical institutions are working together to tackle widespread health issues like tinnitus. Researchers are exploring the use of magnetic nanoparticles to treat hearing loss. The research is focused on using these tiny particles to target specific cells within the ear, particularly the inner ear structure that play a critical role in hearing. The goal is to deliver precise therapeutics agents or stimulate tissue regeneration in damaged areas, like the cochlea, which is where sensory hair cells reside. Researchers are trying to develop a way to use these nanoparticles to promote the regrowth of cells that have been damaged due to noise exposure, aging, or other factors. The nanoparticles can be guided by external magnetic fields to reach specific areas of the ear, ensuring that treatments are localized and more effective. This method could potentially reduce the invasiveness of treatments and improve their accuracy, particularly in delivering therapies to delicate parts of the ear that are difficult to reach through conventional methods. Moreover, the use of magnetic nanoparticles could be integrated with regenerative medicine techniques like the one being researched at MIT, which focuses on hair cell regeneration. The combination of these techniques hold promise for not only preventing further hearing loss, but also restoring lost hearing in individuals who suffered from sensory neural hearing loss. This research is still in the early stages, but the ability to deliver highly targeted treatment with minimal side effects could represent new frontier in hearing loss therapy. The innovation lies in both the precision of the treatment and the potential for regrowth of vital ear structures, which current hearing aids and cochlear implants do not address. If you're interested in other hearing health topics, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to check my website that should show up somewhere here. My website has much more information on it, common question and answers, and a very easy way to contact me.